I need this father from Brooklyn. The headline. Demand off the charts for Brooklyn father of 22's sperm donations. This man had been donating his sperm Mm -hmm. and has like 22 kids. This is the one we were talking about that his wife found out later on, right? She was upset. Uh (laughs) He was out there getting bread. He was giving back. That's right. Now he has 22 kids. He doesn't have to. I mean, I'm sure he signed documentation. He don't have to take care of them. But they want to know who daddy is. Yeah, and he like, I'm right here. Your mom want to have a kid, so I laced it with the good good. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Ain't nothing. That good good. Ain't nothing. <laughs> Yo, yeah. we can have the conversation, guys. 800-223-9797. Fellas, have you ever been asked to donate? I've been asked several times in my life. Mm-hmm. Somebody Sorry. even gave me paperwork one time. was like, Yo. I want your DNA, and I, you sign this contract right here that says that you don't have to. And I was like, I, was, I didn't have any kids, so I was like, I'm not prepared to have children right, yeah. that I'm not a part of their life. Yeah, that's, that's tough. I'm not. I can't wrap my brain around that. Let me tell you something about these women in their 30s that need that backup plan. Like, yeah, look, it ain't going it's too well real. out here, but I like what you're working with. So if it all else fails in about twenty four months, you had you had offers. Well, yeah. I mean, Shawnee, you had kids out here just running around. Yeah, I'd anyway, be like, hey, so. you got that for free. So. I mean, at this point, you might as well just hold that. I know too. Set much. up a set up a little lemonade <laughs> stand and just. <laughs> So, yeah, that I've definitely heard that conversation. One of my girlfriends was really trying to get another one of my guy friends. Be like, look, you don't, you can be there if you want to, but financially, I got it covered. He was like, I have I a friend. She's a, a she's a, an accomplished uh, attorney, um, and never got married. Focused on her career, and you know she has like two guy friends, and they donated. She does one of them is the father. They don't know which one, but they kind of gave her like a little. A little cocktail? Baby batter cocktail. Oh, my gosh. You know but, what I mean? But wait, she doesn't want to know which one? Wow. No, well, they all take care of the kid together. Oh, wow. What? That's they a special They all case. take, they're all parents. So they gave a little cocktail. Yeah, that's right. One of them won, but they don't know which one. Doesn't matter. And, and they're they okay with it because they all love each other. Yeah, and it's just mid- mixologist style. Wow. You know what I mean? She took a shot. Wop, wop, wop. Bing, bong, bing. That's- Baby. What? Well, well, well no, people, look, I I have multiple friends right now who have careers that are not either had failed relationships. These are women had failed relationships. Don't really have a man that they would trust mm-hmm. as a partner yeah. and are considering this. Freezing eggs is very common. Oh, yeah, it, it's um, more common than you think. Yeah, I know a very successful woman who is wanting to get that right now. Mm-hmm. Right now. So, I want to hear from fellas have you had that offer? I've had it multiple times. I'm not. I'm. I'm good. I'm not. I'm not capable of not being involved. And I know women who are considering that. Really? Yeah. Well, in the next couple of years, maybe I'll change my mind. Contract? You think I should just start slanging it? Yeah, just you know, contract paperwork. Just go, go for it. Yeah, right. Hi, nine seven. Hello. What's going on, man? So a woman asked you to just donate. Who was it? Yeah, I mean, it was kind of awkward. It was one of my mom's friends, like Whoa. really long term friend, too. Really? So, you feel me? And it was actually weird because I had just turned 18. It was literally two weeks after my 18th birthday. Did your mom know? I, I feel like she did know. She said she ain't know nothing about it, but I feel like she set me up on the line. And your mom didn't get friend. tight about this? Nah, she ain't saying she was like, oh, okay. That's why. I'm Yo, if one weird. of my mom's friends said something like that to me, my mom would crack they skull. <laughs> yep, that uh, just sounds a little strange. Yeah, that sounds strange. You're not supposed to be talking to my son about his baby batter. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Banks from Jersey. You. Uh, you've been asked several times. Yeah. What did you do? I didn't even have an answer to it, honestly. It had happened, and she got in a relationship before I could even answer. Oh, so she was just out here trying to figure it out. Now, I mean, I, I'm cool with her. She asked me. Now, I got a twin brother. She wanted twins. Now, I mean, I was trying to see how their relationship was going to go first because I still see her on a regular basis. Like, so that would be weird, try, me trying to come around and see the kid. Like, it's just weird. So I wanted to make sure it was going to be a good situation. But I didn't have an answer yet. Before I could even make a decision, she had already broken off with her and was in another relationship. Oh yeah, she she's mm. she's uh she's fishing. That's called fishing. She's mm-hmm. looking hard, trying to find her a, a good quality candidate. Mm-hmm. 
Um, I guess the next piece is conversation with Laura Styles mm-hmm. and Scotty Beam. You jump in too, you, Scotty. You're still a little young and idealistic, so I'm sure at 25 you feel like you're gonna find a man, get married. It's all gonna work out perfect, right? No. Oh, what? I don't think that. I think I honestly think I'm going to be a single mother. But whoa, 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 whoa! Why are we having these thoughts? Because it's possible. It's a possible thing. It's possible. Yeah. But not like single. Like you're not gonna. We don't know. You're not going to know who the father is? He's oh, not no, gonna... no. I'm going to know the, who the father is, but I'm pretty sure that things won't work out and we'll go after every <laughs> What? Race. Well, damn. She's already having these but expectations. But that doesn't make you... A, it doesn't make you a... Saint be, moms, if the father's involved in the kid's life, you are single and a mom. Yeah, yeah. you're co Not a single mom. A single mom for the single moms is literally like, it's just me. And... I mean, I don't know. I never know if I have good judgment on, on, the, on this, the man I picked. That I'm gonna have kids with, so I don't know if he's. Can gonna we have positive me. thoughts? I love you. I, mean, I want you to. You know, what I know I have about? positive thoughts. I just. <laughs> what we talking? You know? What type of? What are you about to get me into in my life? What do you mean? You know what I would have That's to do why. to somebody if they left you when you was pregnant? Yeah, I mean, yeah. So well, what why if she what pushed him away? I it mean, could, I, it could be her fault, but that doesn't mean he get to leave. Disappear? No. She just saying that she don't. She may not be in a. Unified couple. I under get the all same that, roof. but why are we putting that in? Why are we putting that vibe out? Because I seen it. I seen it on my eyes. I know we all seen it. Not to turn this into the whole it. sad thing, but it, I seen it on my eyes. Father was a great, great dad, great husband at one point, and then just but fell he was, off. He fell off. People like she's trying to be realistic. Like not I get all that, but perfect. I think like when you think happen. when you think like that already, yeah, you already you're in. setting yourself up True. for that reality. You're I'm putting just that preparing myself for the worst. That's fine, but we still got hope for the best. Right. I hope, I hope, yeah. Damn, she, <laughs> you don't sound convincing at all. Anyway, <laughs> where I was trying to go with all the right, conversation oh, was, right, let's go. Laura and, yes. and Scotty, mm-hmm. do, would you, could you just have a baby with somebody that you cared about, loved, and trusted, but you weren't in love, in a relationship with them, and like have this as a plan? Like where it was like, I know this person's not gonna leave me. I know this person is gonna be supportive, but we're just not in a traditional relationship. Was where I was going. Could you guys do that? I think at the beginning I would have automatically said no. Oh, but now but you're now, negotiating. But now yeah. that I've seen what my friends go it's through real. and I've seen, I don't. It's not something I would completely shut down. I it I could consider it. Got it. Because I know I I've seen it happening with one of my girlfriends. She's also in a she decided to have a, a baby with one of her friends, and it's the best relationship because they co-parent. They're not together together, but he's so present, and they they raising this baby in the most beautiful way. So yeah. it, it could work. Scotty Bean, can we get you thinking positive though? <laughs> no, that's a better idea. Like you know, that's something <laughs> I would want. It's a better idea. Like that's a great idea, and I'm for it. <laughs> <laughs> 